Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve crazy problem set 6.3, problem 19. So the question is this one. We are given this differential equation. Y double prime plus 6Y prime plus 8Y is equal to E to the minus 3T minus E to the minus 5T. And we are given the initial condition of Y0 is equal to 0 and Y prime 0 is equal to 0. Okay, we need to use Laplace transform, but I need to explain some things here. So we need to take a note that if we transform this left hand side here, we need to know the Laplace transform of y double prime of t. So the Laplace transform of y double prime of t is s square ys minus s y0 and then minus y prime 0 okay that's good we also need the laplace transform of y prime so let's write that the laplace transform of y prime t is s y s minus y0 Okay, and we also need the Laplace transform of e to the minus something t. So if we have e minus some constant multiplied by t here, the Laplace transform of it is 1 over s plus a. I think these three things is enough to solve this problem. Okay, now let's do the first step, which is Laplace transform both sides transform to Laplace domain okay the first term we need to transform y double prime what can we do from here yeah just plug y double prime of t into this one let's substitute that so i will have s squared y s and then minus s y zero and then minus y prime zero okay this is the first term and then the second term is plus six y prime so i will have plus six and then y prime so i will have s y s here so we plug this minus y zero good and then plus 8y 8y y is just y so that is y s here and then on the right hand side we can plug this into this so here a is equal to 3 so i will have 1 over s plus 3 for the first term here and then minus this term here is 1 over s plus 5. Okay, I think that's good. Let's work on this. So what can we do from here? y0 is equal to 0. So this will cancel out. So this is 0. This also cancel out because y prime 0 is equal to 0. This will also cancel out. Oh no, that is not cancel out. This one, however, cancel out. So this is equal to 0. Okay, good. So now what can we do is just rewrite this. So I will have s squared y s. That is the only term left from this bracket. And then for this bracket, I think the only thing that left is s y s. So I will have plus 6 s y s. And then here I have 8 y s. So I will have plus 8 y s. And then what can we do on the right hand side? I think I can do some algebra there. So I will have it like this. So we will have s plus 3 and then s plus 5 here. And here I will have s plus 5 minus s plus 3. Good. 
Okay, now what can we do? I think we can take out the y s. So we will have s squared plus 6s plus 8 because the y s is taken out. I think we can do it like this y s. And then can we do from here? This numerator, I think the s will cancel out and then 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. So I will have 2 here. And then we will have s plus 3 and then s plus 5. Okay. What can we do next? Yeah, I think we can factorize this, right? That is s plus 2 and s plus 4. Okay. So we can factorize that. So I will have s plus 2 and then s plus 4 multiplied by y s that will equal to 2 over s plus 3 and then s plus 5. Okay, we can now isolate y s but I run out of space here. Maybe let's just copy this to the new slide and work from here. Okay, good. I think I can isolate ys. So ys is equal to 2 over s plus 2 multiplied by s plus 3 multiplied by s plus 4 then multiplied by s plus 5. Good. Yeah. Okay, this is ys. And we need to do partial fraction from here. So we will have ys is equal to, I think we can make it like this, a over s plus 2 and then plus b over s plus 3 and then plus c over s plus 4. And then plus D divided by S plus 5. Okay, I think that's good from here. Or if we if we do some algebra here, we can make it back here. So the numerator back here, but we have A, B, C, D term on the numerator. So we will have A s plus 3, s plus 4, and then s plus 5. And then plus, I think we'll have b, s plus 2, s plus 4, and then s plus 5. That is good for b, and then plus c, we will have s plus 2, and then s plus 3 and then s plus 5 okay that's good and then finally we will have d and for d here we will have s plus 3 no s plus 2 s plus 2 s plus 3 and then s plus 4 okay that's good, and all of that is divided by the multiplying, the result of multiplying all the denominator. So we will have s plus 2, and then s plus 3, s plus 4, and then s plus 5. Okay, now we can do the second step from here. We need to find out a, b, c, d. So we need to like take a look at this 2 and this numerator here. So because both of them are the same, right? So all of this will equal to 2 on the right hand side. Okay, let's do partial fraction. So we need to do the second step, which is partial fraction expansion. Partial fraction. Okay, partial fraction. Let's 
expansion. Okay, now this is from the numerator that we have worked before. So this is 2 on the right hand side and then this term on the left hand side. Okay, so what we need to do is find out A, B, C, and D. Okay, to find out A, we need to plug S is equal to minus 2, right? So if we plug S equal to minus 2, all this term here will gone because this is equal to 0, this is equal to 0, and this also equal to 0. So we will have A and then minus 2 plus 3 and then minus 2 plus 4 and then minus 2 plus 5. Okay, and then all of that will equal to 2. So we will have A. This is 1. And then this one will be 2. And this one will be 3. So I will have 2 on the right hand side. And this 2 will cancel its other. So I will have 3A is equal to 1. Or A is equal to 1 third. Okay, that's good. So this is for A. So we need to find out what is B. So we need to plug S equals minus 3. So we need to plug S equal minus 3. If we plug S equal minus 3, this term will cancel, this term will cancel, this term will cancel out. So we only have the this B part left. So I will have B and then I will have minus 3 plus 2, minus 3 plus 4, and then minus 3 plus 5. And then on the right hand side, we still have 2, right? Okay, so we will have B. This is 1, and then this also 1, and this is equal to 2. So that will be equal to 2, or 2B is equal to 2, and so B is equal to 1. That's good. We have B now. We need to find out C. And again, let's play the same game. So we need to plug S equal minus 4. Okay, again, this term will cancel. This will cancel, and this will cancel. So we will have C, and then minus 4 plus 2. And then this one will be minus 4 plus 3. And then minus 4 plus 5. And then on the right hand side, we will have 2. Okay. So we will have C is 2. And then this one will be 1. No, that is not 1. That should be minus 1. And this one will be and then all of that will equal to 2. And so I will have minus 2C is equal to 2 or C is equal to minus 1. That is for C. And lastly, we can plug S equal minus 5. So let's plug S is equal minus 5. And then we will have this part left because this cancel this also canceled and this is also canceled so we will have d and then minus 5 plus 2 minus 5 plus 3 and then minus 5 plus 4 and all of that will equal to 2 and then i will have d this will be minus 3 and then this will be minus 2. And then this will be minus 1. That is equal to 2. And I think we will have minus 6D is equal to 2. Or D is equal to minus 1. Okay, so we have A, B, C, and D. We can plug it into this part here. So we can plug it on this part here and let's do exactly that.
Okay, now we get A, B, C, and D. Let's plug in here. So I will have Y, S is equal to A. A is one third. So let's plug that in. So I'll have one third over S plus 2. And then plus B. What is B? B is 1. So I will have 1 over S plus 3. And then plus what is C? C is minus 1. So I will have minus 1 here divided by S plus 4. And then plus what is D? D is minus 1 third here. So I will have minus 1 third divided by s plus 5. Okay, what can we do from here? Remember that we have this one, e to the minus a t, when transform is 1 over s plus a. So remember that, okay, maybe let's copy paste here to the this part here. So we can transform back from this form here to this e form here. So from here, we can transform it back to the time domain. So I will have yt. And then here I will have one third. That is a constant. So that's good. So I will have one third. And this is 1 over s plus 2. So I will have e to the minus 2t, right? Okay, this is the first part. And then the second part, we can also play the same game. So I will have e to the minus 3t. And then we'll, we will have this one, minus 1. So I'll have minus e to the minus 4t. And then this one, I will have minus 1 third. And then e to the minus 5t. I think that's all for this problem. This is the solution of the differential equation. And that's all. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.